Hi, welcome to Zena Gallery. My name is Zena, and I have an energy reading for today. So let's see what we have. All right. So um, when it comes to anything that is done in the dark, you know, comes to the light or any secrets or anything, there is freedom at this time. Okay. So I'm getting um, mind, body, spirit, work-life balance, meditation and prayer, giving it to Most High, repentance, God. Um, right now is the time for healing. Okay. Self-healing. Um, it could be recovery. It could be healing anything within self or healing the relationship when it comes to most high in God. Okay. Um, or, uh, let's see meditation and prayer or just relationships in general, friendships, family. So what I'm getting, um, forgiveness. Okay. Forgiveness for self and forgiveness for others not necessarily um having to restore a relationship or people place or thing um but most importantly healing the relationship when it comes to self and most high god our creator when it comes to um let's see make sure you are providing for yourself so that means doing the work that means taking initiative that means working really hard also, um, getting, uh, a little bit of playing, but I'm getting majority now is not the time to be playing. Okay. And that could come to mind, body, spirit that could come to your beliefs that could come to meditation and prayer that could even come to uh, work life balance. Okay. And health as well. So, um, yeah, you know, you want to get a laugh and you want to get some laughter and joy in, but. I'm seeing a lot of, uh, now is not the time to be playing. Make sure you're getting a lot of rest, okay? Uh, taking a break, calling in peace. Make sure you're communicating that. So I'm getting, um, setting firm boundaries, what people place or thing, and also communicating that, you know, with self and to others, and communicating also that with shadow work, communicating that with your boundaries, communicating that basically with, um, any type of fears you may have, um, any type of uh, situations that may be causing fear within self. This is spiritual development. Use your spiritual uh, discernment. So just make sure you're communicating um, with uh, anything that's instilling fear within self or that is causing fear that is basically working on your weaknesses is what I'm getting. So make sure you're just uh, communicating that with yourself. So speaking to your strengths in meditation and prayer, calling on most high in God when it comes to overcoming any shadow work or fears. All right, let's see what else. So energy reading for today. This is a spiritual development, spiritual discernment. Okay, there is no mystery. So basically what that means is, um, you know, whatever was done in the dark comes to the light. Like, there should be no confusion. Um, this is about accountability. This is about calling in peace, respecting peace. Um, this is about judgment on all um, when it comes to our personal relationship, when it comes to uh, being a human being here in humanity and our relationship with our creator, most high in God. Okay, so... Make sure we're doing our best to uh, call in peace and however much time that takes as an individual, make sure that's what we're working on. So personal peace, okay? And um, if you're advanced when it comes to peace or being of service or have a beautiful relationship when it comes to self and most high in God, then um, obviously you can provide peace for others as well. Um, so I'm just getting a lot of accountability. Let's see. Yeah, so the next uh, message here is, yeah, collaboration. So you want to collaborate when it comes to um you know if you have the opportunity to share peace with others okay um not expecting anything in return so a lot of networking collaboration and using determination so a lot of uh strength and um you know on getting the uh, job done when it comes to creating peace and when it comes to collaborating with others or helping others if can okay let's see what else yeah, coming from a place of wisdom, so coming from um, spiritual spiritual discernment, spiritual discipline, spiritual knowledge, spiritual growth, spiritual development, okay? Not coming with any trickery energy or confusion energy. So I'm getting, if you don't have wisdom, obviously, you know, getting around your elders, getting around um, 
speaking up, opening your mouth when it comes to uh, mental health, when it comes to professionals, teachers, spiritual advisors, um, not falling victim to any uh, trickery or trying to trick self, okay? Um, getting around um, people that may have uh, spiritual enlightenment for you, possibly healing, um, any type of uh, spiritual guidance. That's basically what I'm getting. So that you're not being consumed um, or failing or f uh, failing as in like um, coming up short when it comes to any shadow work, when it comes to any healing, when it comes to reaching any goals, when it comes to spirituality, or possibly even having a... Um, a knowledge, wisdom, self-development, a powerful uh, relationship when it comes to knowing who uh, Most High is, God, Lord Jesus Christ is, and not being consumed by any type of um, shadow or uh, possibly any skeletons in the closet, anything like that. You know, we, we don't want to leave um, our brothers and sisters behind, basically, is what I'm getting. So just make sure, you know, if you struggle with any addictions or any type of... Uh, any type of deals that you may feel that you've made with the darkness, all right, you do have an opportunity to try to rectify that. So that's really what this is about. And don't allow, you know, people, place, or thing, or a situation, or how deep you may be um, consumed by darkness to make you feel like your deal is already sold, all right? All souls belong to God, so most high. So if you are just at that brink or on that edge of possibly... Um, just giving up, you know, there is support and help out here. It's just basically what I'm getting. Do not allow darkness or devil or any demonic entities or energies or spiritual um, lack of spiritual knowledge to make you feel like you, you've just completely sealed the deal when it comes to your spirit and your soul. And that's really what I'm getting. So uh, you got life in your body. You have an opportunity to ask for help is what I'm getting. And um, not being... Uh, sold into the deal where like you're just helpless you don't have an opportunity to ask for repentance or stuff like that let's see um yeah you still have an opportunity to gain a victory okay even if you're starting from the bottom of the bottom is what i'm getting um the pits of hell so you know um you know 80 percent 90 percent i don't know i'm just throwing it out there when it comes to uh failing or feeling that you know people just give up right before victories because of lack of knowledge okay so when it comes to the lack of knowledge i mean that in the most sincere way where you know it's nothing wrong everybody has their own personal sacred relationship when it comes to most high in god so sometimes you know it doesn't mean that you don't love him but the lack of knowledge of what type of relationship or personal relationship that you know you may feel you have or don't have could could either seal your deal or seal your fate all right and it could cause you to give up before you actually have an opportunity for a victory is what i'm getting all right let's see what else um yeah um so when it comes to any type of uh spiritual instincts or maybe even common sense there could be a lack of uh common sense okay it could be a lack of common sense could just be you know a person just doesn't know right and it's not wrong with that but you know now's the time to use your strength to ask for help to speak up say hey i'm having a problem hey you know now's the time to use your strength to be kind okay to be kind look at it from a kind way Okay, and balance that. So balancing your strength and your kindness. Um, now this message I'm getting possibly it could be uh, so like say you know you know everybody's in a different chapter, everybody's a different level when it comes to strength and weaknesses, right? So just make sure you know you're doing your best to be kind to self and others, all right? And balancing that energy. You know we have a lot of people um you know including self um that you know it it takes duality and it takes a lot of uh meditation and prayer work life balance you know eat pray love a lot of balancing and healing within self in order for us to either help or assist or even teach or learn from others so just make sure you're balancing your kindness and your strength possibly um be aware of like you know someone may need help despite they may not ask for it. and if there's any way that you can help then yeah you want to be a use your instincts um your common sense that this person may need help without um you know expecting anything in return and make sure you're trusting that um let's see what this trust is about 
Yeah, okay. So what I'm getting when it comes to make sure you're trusting what has been revealed to you at this time. Okay, good or bad, right? Trusting it, um, not allowing that energy or revelation to confuse you. Okay, it's nothing wrong with asking questions. No, no question is a stupid question, right? So this is not about ego. This is about really digging deep and digging deep into the dark night of the soul. This is about shadow work. This is about learning, teaching, educating. Um, this is about trying to dig deep when it comes to the uh, lack of knowledge. That is the intention, right? The intention of the revelations and things that, you know, are dark, what's done in the dark or anything like that. The intention is for it to be revealed so that we have an opportunity to either overcome it, for it to be a victory. So possibly it doesn't seal our fate. Um, into something that we don't want, you know, everyone w would like to have a victory, even if the ones can't say it or express it. Um, so just make sure your intention is, uh, the, the question would be, okay, what's my intention now that I have the revelation basically is what I'm getting. So, you know, to each his own. Okay. All right. What else? Yeah, so the intention also would be to transform, right? So transformation, all right, and defending your transformation, okay? Everyone is not going to be happy if there is a transformation. We need to be aware of that and, um, you know, coming from a place of kindness and setting boundaries, you have an opportunity to defend that, okay? Or you may have others that can defend that for you, but you have to use your spiritual discernment and your relationship with Most High and God and with self, okay? to have that intention to transform right and defend that right so you know this is all about self-development um spiritual discernment spiritual development growth healing um you know uh what else transforming oneself okay man or woman um could be a whole 360 on our work-life balance yeah, it's about growth, okay, overall our growth and overcoming any type of, uh, you know, devil energy or demonic energy or any type of things that we uh, may not be, that we want to change or that we may not be proud about or anything like that, all right? There's no judgment here um, when it comes to growth and um, any type of deceptive energy, okay? Make sure you are working, working through it um acknowledging it uh accepting it not playing victimhood not blame game this is about self-development personal development spiritual discernment spiritual development let's see what else this is about mental health physical health this is about working on self-esteem confidence individuality diversity um unity let's see teamwork um this is not about judgment, right? This is about uh, a sacred relationship when it comes to most high God, Lord Jesus Christ, our creator and humanity, all right? This is about life being sacred, all right? Life is a gift. So the more confidence, more confident we are in that energy, all right? Mind, body, spirit, um, you know, that's sacred. Then we have an opportunity to enjoy the, sh the limited time we have here. And I know it's easier said than done, but the more we take accountability and have patience with ourselves and others, then we have an opportunity to really uh, enjoy some really nice things, um, you know, from small to big. Uh, let's see. Make sure you're having patience when it comes to not feeling protected. Okay, so what I'm getting is possibly like a look going through karmic, th going through karmic work or shadow work. All right, you may feel not protected, but you know, unfortunately, that's where justice comes in, that's where judgment comes in. All right, and that's from our creator, most high. You know, God loves us, it's no different than you know, that's our father. So, you know, you've been acting up, then you're gonna get pow pow. So, that's really what it's about. So, make sure you're having patience with yourself when it comes to receiving any pow pow all right don't give up on yourself don't give up on a relationship that you have with most God, most high god lord jesus christ all right do not be tricked into any type of deceptive energy to make you feel like worthless or less than or you're just a uh, you know you mess up everything in life it's not about that this is about growth and transformation and finding out 
you know, what exactly needs to be done so that, you know, healthy, healthier, okay? Making healthier choices. Health is wealth, right? Um, this is about God caring about us. This is about God loving us, Lord Jesus Christ. This is about people caring about people. This is about humanity caring. This is about everybody's been through a whole lot up and down, good and bad, you know, no sin is greater than any other. It doesn't matter how evil it could be. This is all, everybody has an opportunity to take accountability when it comes to self. There is no judgment here, right? I'm not a judge or jury. So just make sure you're really having patience with yourself if you're if you're not feeling protected or not worthy when it comes to the universe, most high God, and with in all actual with in all actuality, you know, he cares. God loves us. God loves us a lot, like so much that, you know, even if you know we're his bad children, at the end of the day, like we we are his children, right? We're children of God. So you know, if some good or bad children, whatever you experience this power, just make sure you're having patience with yourself, caring for yourself. The more you care for yourself, the more you change, you know, possibly your thinking, your behavior, you know, your actions, you'll start to see the power and the growth and you'll start to see the power in the rebirth and you'll start to see the power and his opportunity that he's giving you, right? I know it's easier said than done, but make sure you're focusing on um, caring for yourself. The more you can care for yourself, then the more you can see the enlightenment and the transformation he is putting us all through as, uh, as individuals. So a possible rebirth, right? A rebirth from any um, dark night of the soul, I mean, the pits of hell, uh, shadow work, any addictions, any type of abuse, um, a rebirth to create a new you, okay? uh to to create a new heart within you okay mind body spirit you have an opportunity to create create something out of nothing and that's really what it's about as long as you're believing in that okay as long as you believe in most high god lord jesus christ then you have that opportunity that opportunity is on the table and it's not too late for you right so make sure you're not paying attention to worldly matters and make sure you tuning into deep down in your soul the dark night of the soul so that you have an opportunity to receive what is exactly that he's what stage or what exactly most high lord jesus christ is really trying to show you here okay let's see what else yeah be still okay be still in, in believing be still when it comes to um so be still what i'm getting with this here be still when it comes to uh tapping into mind body spirit right Possibly find a sacred time. Really making the time, really. It's, it's really, you can't cut cor corners on this one. You got to be still when it comes in that, okay? And any supportive energy, great. But what I'm also getting here, there may, there may be some deceptive energy when it comes to family and friends. Um, only you would know that as an individual man or woman, all right? So just be mindful of, you know, when God calls us to sometimes, everybody's in a different life cycle, different chapter, different stage, different, uh, you know, background, different beliefs. When it comes to being still, make sure you're not letting any interference come in between what answers or what prayers or what meditation you're really trying to find the answer for Most High God, all right? Um, because I'm getting a little deceptive energy or misguided energy that could come from that could be coming from um, family or friend or somebody, people, place, or thing that may you may look at as family or friend, all right? Um, make sure you're adapting to joy, okay? Make sure. You are adapting to joy. And if the environment isn't that, then you need to uh, disattach yourself and find things that are of joy, all right? Because if not, it may be a little too late with following possibly the wrong crowd. And that's really what I'm getting. If there is a transfor transformation being forced to take place right now with humanity, right? And also, when it comes to memory, all right? When it comes to memory, just make sure... Uh, you are creating uh, joyous memories. You are creating new memories. You are creating a memory when it comes to your spirituality or memories of any um, experiences that you've had when it comes to spiritual uh, beliefs all throughout your life or childhood or adulthood that you know did come from Most High and God, all right? Um, because that's going to give you courage, okay? So I'm getting that's a spiritual tool. And when it comes to any type of memory or good memory that 
it can be a little trickery. Just make sure you're keeping that sacred and taking it to most high in God or any of your newer memories. Make sure you're taking that and keeping that private when it comes to most high in God, because I'm getting there's a little bit of deceptive interference. This could be external. This could be people, place or thing, you know, that is on the hunt for your mind health. Right. So I'm getting a little interference here. So just make sure you're cutting through that type of deceptive energy. And that could be self-sabotage. That could be old memories that are old triggers or old trauma or anything that's trying to hunt you down when it comes to you creating new memories or any um, outdated thinking or just keeping you in wounded energy. So just make sure you're tapping into your boldness. You're stomping you know, the deceptive energy out. You are using your uh, courageousness. You're being covered. You, you, you're having your courage, right? You're putting your crown on, basically, and inspire yourself against death, right? Inspire yourself against death. Inspire yourself against uh, darkness. Inspire yourself against anything that's self-sabotaging you. Inspire yourself against anything that's making you feel less than and inspire yourself with love. So, again, it goes back to self-love, personal development, spiritual discernment. Loving on yourself as much as you can, especially if you're not receiving that love, right? So 100% love. God is love, right? God is love. God is of the living. So if it's not of the living, then you know it automatically it's of death. And, you know, pick a side. That's basically what I'm saying, all right? So my name is Zena. Thank you for watching Zena Gallery. And I hope that, um, you know, this goes out to anyone that is either, you know, confused or lost or just hurting or just um just a reminder to ones that are already on this journey just as myself um that you know you are loved and i'm sending my love and healing um and would in hopes that you know everyone will continue to do the same send my love and support to the ones that are either struggling or we don't know or just like checking on others and stuff like that all right so again my name is zena thank you have a beautiful weekend take care bye bye <laughs>